So I made a squid game game and taught an AI how to beat it. Well, more specifically red light green light because this show is already losing interest and making the other 5 games would take me a year. Now I made a game because for the AI to learn I needed a way to simulate red light green light. If you only care about seeing how I trained the AI you can skip to this part of the video. So I had never made a game before and I couldn't be bothered to code a game engine from scratch so I decided to go with Unity. And making the game using Unity was pretty simple. First I had to add a floor because our players need a place to walk. And then I added a capsule to represent our player. And after 20 tutorials and a quick coding montage, I had a player that I could control. Now the problem was that in the show the characters were humans, not eggs. So we needed to make a 3D model to represent the players. Realizing that the models online would leave me bankrupt, I decided to make my own. So after 20 more hours of learning how to do 3D modeling, I had my own very simple model of a squid game player, also known as a squid. Now I don't know if you know this or not, but there is a skeleton inside all of us. Spooky, I know. So I added one to our player as well. This is called rigging and it helps us make our models dance like this and move into demonic positions like this. With the help of this rigging, I was able to spend an entire day meticulously keyframing the animations for our player, so that our player wasn't just T posing all over the map. After all of that hard work, we have not an egg, but a human that runs when we tell it to. Similarly, I repeated the entire process to make the creepy doll and added her into the game as well. I got a little bit lazy and didn't add any animations for her, but this is good enough. After coding the logic of the game, this is what it looks like. Hmm, there's something missing. There we go, now it looks good. And there we have red light green light made using Unity. Pretty riveting stuff. Okay, so now let's begin with the AI. This is our player. The players only know their X and Y location as well as whether the robot is looking at them or not. And this is our robot which counts down for some time and then turns back and destroys any player that is still moving. Our player needs to learn three things. Firstly, that it needs to move forward and get to the finish line to win. Secondly, that it shouldn't fall off the platform like an idiot. And lastly, it shouldn't move when the robot is looking. We will be using reinforcement learning to train our player where much like the show, the player will be awarded for winning the game and will be punished for dying, where dying is the punishment. Now all of the machine learning code should be very difficult to implement, but I used this library for Unity called ML Agents which made it all very simple. I did have to make some changes to the code to get it to work, but now we can begin training our AI. So we just hit play and... Yeah, I think this is going to take very long. Thankfully, we can just make copies of our player and our AI will use data from all of them to train. Much like the show, the beginning is pure chaos where the players don't know what to do and just run around randomly. But after a few thousand steps, we see a few players move forward and realize, Hey, that's pretty good. But now the problem is that everybody moves just to the halfway point and then they die because the robot looks back and they're still moving. Oh, and they also don't know that they shouldn't jump off the platform. Pretty relatable if I say so myself. After millions of dead players, one genius realizes that maybe it's not a good idea to move while the robot is looking. And he makes it to the end surprisingly. What a mad lad. And soon we have a never-ending torrent of players winning over and over again. But some still decide to jump off of the platform. At this point, I think it's pretty much natural selection that they die. Which is kind of the point of reinforcement learning. But soon enough, we have every player realizing that jumping off of the platform is not a good strategy for winning. And soon we have every single player making it to the end. Thank god it worked. And now let's take a look at a single one of our players trying to beat the game. Yeah. 
that's pretty cool man now there's only one addition to the game which can make it a lot better ah uh, now the game is perfect <laughs>